All right, everybody, we're working through the quadratic relations and in, in quadratic functions and equations. Review package here, we're on question 20D. Uh, two numbers differ by 16. Okay, if the sum of their squares is a minimum, find the numbers. I know this sort of question tends to be a, a little confusing for people. It's hard to kind of read through that, get your head wrapped around what's going on. Trick is to just do it slowly, okay? First of all, the thing that I need you to clue in on is the word minimum here. As soon as I'm asking you for the word minimum, I want you to complete the square on this. I want you to find the vertex, okay? Now, two numbers differ by 16. Okay, so let's let x be the larger and we'll let y be the smaller. And so two numbers differ by 15, so x minus y will equal 16. And what we're trying to do here, though, is we're trying to, to minimize the sum of their squares. So I'm going to put a new, a new variable in. Let's, let's put m here. This is going to be the sum of their squares. Okay? So I'm going to build an equation based on that. So m will equal x squared plus y squared. Now, I am looking to find the, the minimum uh, sum of their squares. So I want to complete the square on this. I've got two variables there. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do here is, is take this equation. I'll make this x equals y plus 16. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to eliminate a, a variable here or isolate it so that I can now plug that into here. So I know that x is now equal to y plus 16. So that means instead of being x squared plus y squared, this will be y plus 16 squared plus y squared. Now, this will end up becoming y squared plus 32y, okay, plus, now I just double checked myself on the 16 squared here, 256 plus y squared. Okay, I'll zoom in a little bit here. So coming up here, putting that together, trying to simplify it, so I'm going to get 2y squared plus 32y plus 256. That's, that's what's equivalent to m here. I want to complete the square on this because I want to, I want to solve for the vertex here. So first thing I'm going to do is, is ignore the 256. I'm going to take the 2 out of this quadratic term and the linear term here to get positive 16. And then what I'm going to do, that 256 is out, is out hanging out at the end here. Now I'm going to do here is recognize that when I, when I expand out uh, or get a perfect square trinomial, that middle term should always have a factor of 2 in it. So if, if you take the 2 out of that 16, you're left with 8. Which means the remaining two numbers here to complete the perfect square here, to complete the square, I'm going to add, oh, sorry, I'm adding 8. I want to add 8 squared, which would be 64. And then I will immediately subtract 64 because I don't want there to be a change in the value of the equation. I'm not allowed to just randomly add 64 uh, because it's convenient for me. Now what I'll do is I'll take that 64 out, so I will get 2 times y squared plus 16y plus 64. Take out the, the negative 64 by multiplying by 2, so I'm going to subtract 128 out of that. There's still the plus 256 out there. But this is now in a form that can be quite easily factored. So I'll come back over here. m is now equal to 2 times, that'll be y plus 8 squared plus 128. So my vertex here is going to consist of a y coordinate and an m coordinate. Okay? So in this case here, the vertex will be negative 8 comma 128. So y is equal to negative 8. Now remember that 128 is the minimum sum of their squares. Uh, and so if you look, take a quick look at uh, the original formula here for x, x was equal to y plus 16. Well, if y is negative 8, we can conclude that x must be 8. And so those are my two numbers.